Hello and welcome to another Advanced Live Getting Started Quick Guide. In this guide we're going to look at how you can assign devices to the correct location within your site when Advanced Live has discovered a new device and that device is in a zone which spans multiple floors. So in this scenario we have for example a stairwell that spans multiple floors. A new device has been added to that zone. Um, Advanced Live has detected that new device but it doesn't know whether to add that device to ground floor, first floor or wherever that might be. So what you'll see in Advanced Live is this little notification telling you that in this case we have 18 devices that are not assigned to a building. And what I can do here is I click on this alert and it will actually filter to show me the devices that Advanced Live is not able to automatically uh, assign. For the purpose of this demonstration I've created these two devices here in a new zone called Zone 22. Now this Zone 22 actually spans floors within my site. It spans the ground floor and the first floor. So I can uh, go and look at this device. And I'll just quickly, briefly look at the uh, history here. We can see that this device was newly discovered. Obviously Advanced Live has detected the name. Uh, I'm new here. And it has detected that the device is an optical smoke detector. So Advanced Live has correctly identified the device. It knows it's in zone 22. It just doesn't know uh, which floor that zone 22 spans, uh, the device should be added to. You can see here I've got the option to assign. So this is one of the first places that I can go and assign this device. If I click on assign, you'll see it's taken me through to my settings area and it's automatically taken me to within uh, issues. So within site issues, we have not assigned devices and it's automatically taken me to the device in the list. And here I can say, okay, this particular device uh, it is a, it's the I'm new here device. This one's on the ground floor. So I'm going to confirm that. And it tells me now that the device has been successfully assigned to that floor. And what I'll do now is I'll, I'll go back to the um, advanced live live view. So here we are the live view. Uh, this is where we originally looked at this list of devices. You can see now it tells me I've got 17 devices that are not assigned to a building. Um, and you could go through these one by one and click on the assign button um, or you can go directly to the settings area and look at that list uh, which is where that assign button takes us so if we go there now so here we are we're looking at the uh, site issues for my advanced HQ site if I go to the issues uh, option here you can see within here I've got two two sets of devices. I've got not assigned and not mapped. There's another video which covers how you map devices. These devices, not mapped, these are devices that Advanced Live has detected. It knows which zone they're in. That zone is only on one floor. So the device has been added to that floor within that zone as an unmapped device ready for you to plot it onto the maps. As I say, there's another video uh, which will show you how to do that. For the not assigned devices, um, I can basically go down this list and assign all these devices to the correct place. So my zone 22 here, for example, I can click on assign and here I've got a call point and I'll say, well, that's on the ground floor next to the door. And then I'll look at this device, smoke detector. Um, this device I'm going to say is on the first floor. So I work my way through uh, de uh, device by device and add it to the correct location. And it's as simple as that. And just to demonstrate that I can now see those devices in the relevant location, I'm going to go into my building and I'm going to go look at the first floor first. Here I'm going to go to the list view and I'm going to look for that zone 22, which is here. And we can see that device which I've added, that 201 which I added to the first floor is there. I'm going to swap to the ground floor now. There's my ground floor. Again, I'm going to go to the list view. I'm going to select that zone 22. And there we can see the devices that I've added in there, the I'm new here and I'm new too. Though they are the two devices that I assigned. And if I actually go and look at the history of this, you can see here uh, that me, Paul Taylor, signed this device uh, to this location. Um, so the full order trail uh, is in there and you can see who's assigned devices to various locations within your site. Likewise, if you go to the report section, so now if we look at the reports for my Advanced HQ site, and just for quickness, I'm going to look at the last 24 hours. And I can see here 
uh, the devices that have been assigned. So we can see this device here was assigned. So this is the I'm new here device was assigned to the ground floor in zone 22. I'm new 2 was assigned to the ground floor in zone 22. And device 201 was added to the first floor in zone 22. And we can see who did that. And obviously you can view the details of the device as well in the annotations. So that is it. That is how you assign devices uh, to the correct location within your site when that device belongs to a zone that spans multiple floors and Advanced Live has not been able to automatically assign the device to the correct floor and the correct zone. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, you can leave feedback in the comments of the video and you can also provide feedback via the provide feedback link within Advanced Live. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.